Hey movie lovers, I'm Nick. And I'm Michelle, and we watch movies. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? True love does exist. Maleficent! We just rented Maleficent last night on Redbox and it's about a fairy that's out for her vengeance. So she curses an infant princess only to find out that the child could be the one that saves her troubled land. Alright Michelle, so did you like this Disney movie? Well it's Disney so of course, but no, this movie definitely was great. Um, Angelina Jolie, they casted perfectly to play Maleficent. And Ellie Fanning, I definitely liked her as Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I'm not a mm -hmm. huge Angelina Jolie fan, but she actually did a really good job in this movie, and I'm glad she was the person they chose. So yeah. I, she had the look, I mean, her, like, cheekbones, structure of her face, yeah. her cheekbones, her, you know, her eyes, the horns, you know, her whole outfit, everything looked really good. Yeah, the costumes in this movie were definitely great. I like them a lot. Um, I normally don't like when they take these animated movies and turn them into like real life ones, um, but this one was definitely one of my favorites next to 101 Dalmatians that they did with Glenn Close. But um, no, I definitely like this. I also like that this story made a villain of Disney not so bad. They had a good storyline behind it, and you know, it, it was a sweet story in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the backstory was really nice. Um, I don't remember the movie Sleeping Beauty. I watched it when I was really young, yeah. so I don't really remember much about the character Maleficent. But um, so, kind of going into the movie, I expected her to be this evil person, but in reality, she's actually she was this you know really good fairy who had these bad things happen to her. So she goes out for revenge, basically, and puts a curse on the king's daughter, the mm -hmm. princess. So I really like the beginning of this movie, how they go into the whole backstory and, and the movie starts off. But towards the middle, I kind of got a little bored and almost fell asleep. Could have just been because I was tired and we were watching it at home on the couch. Mm -hmm. Towards the middle, um, when basically it's just all, you know, the three, there's just three fairies that um, the king asks them to watch over their, his daughter for 16 years, which is how long the curse is on for, um, and then to bring her back to the, the castle, basically. And th that really didn't interest me that much, but the third act was my favorite part of the movie. The whole third act was really, really good. Mm -hmm. So I liked the beginning, I liked the end, the middle was kind of boring for me. But overall, I really enjoyed this film. Yeah, no, I definitely liked the whole movie. Um, I just really liked how they made this movie such a good backstory and how, you know, Maleficent, as we all know as Disney fans, is this evil person when really she fell in love with this child um, and she actually felt really bad for cursing her. Um, but one of my favorite scenes in this movie um, is where she realizes that, you know, she did a bad thing by cursing this child and she's actually really good. Um, and she kind of like falls in love with her. Um, so that was one of my favorite scenes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you know, I really felt bad for Maleficent, the character, because, mm -hmm. and Angeline does a really good job, you know, playing. Um, the good side and the bad side yeah. of this character. Um, so you really feel for her. I mean, you know, that's the thing I love about movies is feeling for the characters, you know? Yeah. And she does a really good job doing that. And the character of the princess and her putting the curse on her, um, you begin to see that she still does have um, a good heart. Yeah. You know, even though she's evil at the time or, mm -hmm. you know, doing bad things. So. Also, I really like the CGI in this movie. Um, that was yeah. one thing I really noticed. It was really cool CGI. Mm -hmm. um, the land and everything and all the creatures and everything was really, really cool. So that was, I really liked that. Yeah, I liked the fairy land a lot. 
they made it really look cool. Anything you didn't like about this movie? Um, no, I mean, I think they could have casted the king, King Stefan. I think they maybe should have casted him differently. I wasn't a big fan of him being that character. Um, the accent just didn't do it for me. It was just felt like it was forced. It wasn't really great. Um, but that was really it besides, you know, the rest of the movie was really, really great. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with the king. I, he's a really good actor. I, I like that actor. But, um, yeah, I could see a different person playing that role, maybe doing it a little better. Yeah. So, what do you rate this movie, Michelle? I rate this movie an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. What about you? I'm going to give this movie a 7.4. Okay. If you haven't seen Maleficent, it's definitely worth a watch. It's a Disney movie. We really enjoyed it, yeah. and we think you would too. If you haven't seen it already when it came out in theaters, definitely go run out to Redbox right now. What yeah. did I say? Right now. It's right only a dollar fifty. Or and like go and rent it, especially if you're a Disney fan, Sleeping Beauty fan, all of the above. Um, but definitely recommend seeing it. If you've seen it, post your comments down below. Let us yeah. know what you thought. Also, what is your favorite non-animated Disney movie? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yeah, we want to hear it down below. Please subscribe for future movie reviews mm -hmm. and movie news, and we'll see you next time. Yes! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying that on there.